Hey, can you lift a truck with your hands? No? <laughs> Shocker. But let me introduce you to nature's original strongman, the ocean, which casually tossed 700-ton boulders around like they were pebbles during a mega-tsunami that hit Africa thousands of years ago. This wasn't just a bad day at the beach. This mega-tsunami was so powerful, it made the 2004 Indonesian and 2011 Japanese tsunamis look like kiddie pool splashes. Now, to give you an idea of how terrifying regular tsunamis already are, the Japan tsunami produced waves 133 feet tall. The Indian Ocean tsunami was slightly smaller, but it took over 200,000 lives across many countries. Now, imagine something way worse. You see, for a long time, scientists thought waves that big were just science fiction. But then they found these enormous boulders, massive chunks of rock, flung far inland and did the math. It turns out only waves around 800 feet tall could have pulled off that kind of rocky vandalism. And the culprit? A volcano that literally fell apart into the ocean and triggered one of the most powerful tsunamis Earth has ever seen. Usually, tsunamis are blamed on underwater earthquakes, you know, tectonic plates getting into slap fights. But volcanoes? Oh, they've got tsunami potential, too. In 1883, for example, a volcano in Indonesia named Krakatoa erupted for six months non-stop until it exploded, and the explosion was heard all the way in Australia. This triggered many tsunamis, some almost 100 feet tall. Still, that was more like a toe dip compared to the full cannonball from the mega tsunami. Back in ancient times, the volcano that crumbled during the mega tsunami was huge, and it didn't just fall apart. It lost a chunk that was 10 times the size of Mount Everest. 10 Mount Everests. It was like the Earth wanted to see what would happen if we threw a mountain into the ocean just for fun. It was so massive that when the entire side of the volcano belly flopped into the Atlantic, it created waves that could cover the Statue of Liberty three times. It also destroyed an island more than 30 miles away. The volcano behind this real-life Michael Bay scene was called Fogo, located on, you guessed it, Fogo Island. This island is basically just a whole single volcano that rose from the sea thanks to a magma hotspot a place in the ocean where a lot of magma escapes and erupts like an underwater volcano. Over time, this magma cooled and stacked up like pancakes until, voila, after seven major eruptions, the island popped out of the ocean like it was playing peekaboo. Surprise, it's a volcano. But Fogo's dramatic entrance was also a ticking time bomb. You see, the more a volcano grows, the heavier it gets. And if there's not enough magma inside it to support it, the whole thing can just collapse. Sometimes it doesn't take much. A minor earthquake, some erosion, or just a poor foundation made of soft sediment can trigger a collapse. It's like a really tall guy trying to balance over a bunch of marbles. Fogo had all the bad luck ingredients. Too tall, too heavy, and built on squishy ground. And it gets worse. As the volcano grows heavier, it starts squishing the magma underneath. That lava can't rise, so it just simmers down there, slowly thickening like soup left on a burner for too long. Gases build up, pressure increases, and eventually, kaboom! It's the volcanic version of eating too many burritos and then trying to hold in a sneeze. This massive pressure and imbalance can trigger what's called a flank collapse, which is science speak for oops, half the volcano just fell into the ocean. That's what happened with Fogo. Most of the volcanic islands that form this way are long gone. But Fogo is still very much alive and kicking. In fact, it last erupted in 2014, and considering that it goes off every 20 years, maybe don't travel to Fogo Island in around 2034. For the longest time, scientists believe only big, bulky volcanic islands could collapse like this. But new research says that even smaller, skinnier guys like the Danny DeVitos of the island world aren't safe either. The thing is that small volcanic islands only seem stable because of their small mass. It's like Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger both slipping on the ice. Arnie's fall might cause more chaos, but Danny can still go flying. And those little collapses? Yes, they matter. Take Santa Maria, a tiny island that's about 170 times smaller than Hawaii. It has collapsed multiple times, not because it wanted to, 
but because it's basically standing on soggy breadcrumbs. Its foundation is loose marine sediment, and to make things worse, it's sitting right next to the East Azores Fault, where three tectonic plates meet up for daily slap fights. This fault is responsible for many earthquakes and even some tsunamis that happened in Lisbon in the past, so you can imagine what it's like living right above it. Every time the volcano in Santa Maria erupts and grows, it also sinks. But when a chunk collapses, it bounces back up like a buoy. This seamount to island to seamount to island again roller coaster means that Santa Maria has popped in and out of the ocean like a submarine playing peekaboo. And with every peak comes a potential tsunami. Another volcano with similar trust issues is Pacaya, located in Guatemala. Between 2011 and 2013, scientists spotted strange movements in the soil, tiny shifts that suggested something underneath was getting restless. Sure enough, in 2014, Pacaya erupted. Luckily, it didn't collapse, but that risk still looms, especially if magma gets trapped in it like it did with Fogo. The consequences could be explosive, literally. In fact, about a thousand years ago, Pacaya experienced a collapse that sent debris avalanches more than 15 miles away. Since then, it's rebuilt itself like a fiery phoenix, but it could still crumble again. That's why volcanologists obsess over the tiniest wobbles. It's not paranoia if the mountain really might fall. Now you might be thinking here, okay, but that was the past. Surely that kind of ridiculous mega tsunami collapse can happen again, right? Well, welcome to the 21st century. Islands like Hawaii, La Palma in Spain, and various parts of the Caribbean are sitting on the same kind of geological whoopee cushions. All it takes is the right combo. Loose foundation, steep slopes, maybe some trapped magma, and boom, flank collapse. In fact, it's already happened recently. In 2018, Anak Krakatau, the volcanic baby of the infamous Krakatoa, lost a big chunk of itself during an eruption. It caused a tsunami, but it was more awkward than devastating. Like a volcano losing its pants on stage. Embarrassing, but survivable. But that's just amateur hour compared to history's real showstoppers. Ritter Island's 1888 collapse was so intense that the island literally got shorter. It went from being more than 2,000 feet tall to a mere 460 feet. But the record holder is the legendary Latua Bay mega splash from 1958, where a 7.8 magnitude earthquake triggered a massive landslide that sent a wave taller than the Empire State Building roaring through Alaska at highway speeds. Strangely enough, only five people lost their lives here. But on the other hand, the destruction path it left behind can still be seen today, all the way from space. Melting glaciers and ice caps can make volcanoes collapse too. When they melt, there's a sudden decrease in pressure on Earth's crust that can destabilize entire volcanoes. It's called isostatic rebound. It's like suddenly yanking a chair out from under someone who's been sitting still for centuries. Whoops. Also, here's something you probably never thought you'd worry about on your island getaway. Some volcanic islands grow outward as lava pours into the sea, creating unstable platforms known as lava deltas. These deltas can collapse without warning, taking newly formed land – and sometimes tourists too – right back into the ocean. No pressure, though, just thought, you know, maybe you want to stay off steaming new land. So yeah, next time you're lounging on a beachy volcanic island thinking, wow, this place is paradise. Just remember, it might also be a ticking geological time bomb with a flair for the dramatic. From ancient mountain-sized cannonballs to surprise lava deltas, volcanoes have a history of keeping things spicy. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.